Hey y'all, welcome to the first day of our backyard shed conversion project where we will be turning this eight by 10 foot shed into a beautiful tiny home office. So when COVID initially hit, my job went fully remote, which is what initially sparked the van conversion and our travels on the road. But since we're pregnant, we decided to settle down in Utah, become part timers and make Utah our home base. The only thing is we're actually house hacking, which means we rent out most of our home to a tenant and we only occupy the basement. So we're going to need to kick Sunny out of the spare bedroom and into the backyard shed. So today we're going to be doing the insulation. Let's do this. So we decided to use Havelock wool for the insulation in the shed. It's the same insulation that we used in the van and we love it for a few reasons. It's eco-friendly and sustainable. It's sourced from sheep in New Zealand. It does a really good job with moisture management, sound dampening, and most importantly, it's really easy to install and non-toxic. What you'll need to get started is a staple gun, staples, any sort of garden mesh, scissors, and wool insulation. So we bought four bags, which does run you around $600. It's pretty pricey, but we wanted to prioritize working with non-toxic materials and we love the sustainable and eco-friendly aspect of it. Feel free to check them out in the link below. Something else that you're gonna notice is we actually did all the rough in for the electrical before starting on the walls. So the first thing you wanna do is get the mesh lined up on the wall on the wooden spines like that and then start working your way down. So as you make your way down, don't forget to close up the bottoms because you don't want the insulation to fall out. Make sure when you're finishing the netting to actually leave the top open. That way we can stuff all the wool in, come back, staple it shut at the very end. It'll be much easier. Once that's done, you're going to just rip this up by hand and stuff it behind the mesh. In order to fill the bottom half, you're going to want to bust out your scissors and just cut a few notches of mesh about halfway down. That way, when you put the wool in, it will get down to the bottom a lot quicker. The ceiling is essentially the exact same process. You just need to use a step stool or a ladder. And remember this pro tip, be sure to wear protective eyewear when doing the ceiling. So we're all done installing all the insulation. It does smell a little bit like a petting zoo, but we absolutely love working with this material because it's non-toxic and just soft and just really easy to work with. Yeah, so if you want at the very end, you can put a few more staples in, get it extra secured. But other than that, you're pretty much done. Bye guys, see you next time.